John Anderson grew up near the Rancocas Creek, but never really enjoyed the waterway until he began paddling the stream six years ago. He's spearheading an effort to have the Rancocas declared a national water trail. It's tidal. It's semi-wild. It's, there are places in the creek people have not really gone in a long time. There's a state park natural area up along the creek. There's these backwaters that come in here. It's a very vibrant living, breathing marsh that's got multi-use in it. The designation will help publicize and protect the natural resource. It's home to striped bass, hawks, and migratory birds. The National Water Trail application is citizen-driven. 35 government agencies and citizens groups have signed on to the plan. This effort shows how small groups of people can work together and develop a strategy to protect a natural resource that runs through their community. And the word of mouth that you have, that's energy, that's a vibrant energy. So you can respect people's differences while still talking about common ground. And by doing that, you can, yeah, you can make a difference. People can make a difference. You don't think you can. And at the end of the day, if this doesn't come about, at the same time, you can sit back and say, wow, all those people and, I, and all those different towns and all those communities and everything together were focused on one thing and look how far it got taken. The Rancocas flows through Mount Holly and it's hoped the designation will attract more visitors to this historic community. If you're just a recreational paddler, you have a four to six foot tide depending on the time of year. So you hypothetically, if you catch a tide going upstream into Mount Holly, which is ahead of tide, you don't have to do a whole lot of paddling. If you want to stop in town and get something to eat, you can get stuff to eat in Mount Holly and take the outgoing tide right back to here. That will also allow um, those same people to see some of the, the wonderful uh, businesses that we have in the town and you know, hopefully utilize those as well. Mount Holly Township environmental officials are seeking state grant money to put in two canoe launches. They put together a plan and what this plan does is it defines various locations along the creek within Mount Holly that are amenable to perhaps putting in um, a boat launch or public access. The designation will also help improve water quality in this meandering creek. So there is a lot of wildlife that is dependent on the creek and it's been neglected for a very long time. I mean there is the various parts of the shores are uh, eroding. It needs some work to, be, to shore up those uh, riparian buffer zones. There is now an online petition the public can sign in support of the National Water Trail designation. This project was funded in part with a Franklin Parker Conservation Excellence Grant given by the New Jersey Conservation Foundation.